Hello there, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your next 30 days. Who or what is coming your way in terms of love? Check your other chart placements out on my channel. And happy birthday to my Gemini sons out there. Wishing you a happy, blessed, abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. Show me spirit for Gemini what's coming their way in terms of love for the next 30 days of them watching this video. Please show me. This is for my beautiful Geminis. Please show me for Gemini. Gemini, please take what message resonates. Leave the rest behind. Bear with me as I read for singles, separated, and in partnership. Let's see what's coming through for you. First card out is the Five of Swords. Coming in as win or lose. Air sign energy. You have nurture. This is the Empress. Coming in as Libra Taurus energy. You have Seek. This is the Hermit. Virgo Energy. We also have Love Abounds. The Ace of Cups. Water Energy. We have Well Deserved Reward. The Nine of Pentacles. And we have Change Your Focus. The Five of Cups. Gemini, are you falling for someone and you're like mad you're falling for someone? It looks like you are interested in somebody new or you're gaining deeper or larger feelings for, for someone and you really don't look like you want to. So I don't know. Someone's got my Gemini's feeling some type of way. And a lot of you have been in solitude. A lot of you have been single for quite some time. A lot of you enjoy your independence. And you look a little bit defeated by the fact that you feel something towards someone. So some of you are definitely meeting somebody new or have already met somebody new. Maybe you didn't expect to feel anything for them and you're kind of like, damn, I didn't think I was going to feel anything for this person. I thought I was just going to sit in my independence and do whatever I wanted. And now I'm like, wait a minute, someone's got me feeling something. This could be vice versa as well. This could also be this person's energy towards you too. You may both have this energy. Like, wait a minute, I didn't even know I was going to feel something for someone, and now all of a sudden, I do. So somebody may not be able to help the way they feel towards you, Gemini, either. This could be a new start with a past person, too, that maybe you gave up on, they gave up on you, and it, because it's giving me the feeling like, damn, I have feelings for this person, and it doesn't seem, usually when that happens, it's like, yeah, I have feelings for this person, but you're kind of like, and it's because of multiple different reasons for a lot of you. The first reason is going to be because you like being single and you didn't expect to fall for someone. Second reason, this could be a past person and things weren't that great and you're kind of like kicking yourself that you still feel something for this person. Or this could be your current person. Maybe you've two been in solitude or just not really in each other's energy, but you still can't help what you feel. Let's see. Let's clarify. Because what is this? It's like you're like disappointed you're coming out of hermit mode for some reason. It, but it's not disappointment. It's like, I don't know, it's just weird the way it's coming out. Maybe it was just unexpected to feel this way or to still feel this way. Let's see. Clarify this for my Geminis, please. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Five of Swords, the Hierophant, um, the Empress, Hermit, Hermit, King of Swords. There you go. Love, love abounds. Ace of Cups, the Fool, yeah. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Cups. All right, Gemini, sorry to tell you, but... You're about to gain feelings for someone and someone's gaining just as much feelings for you. I think this person already has feelings for you. This just looks like you gaining the courage. You really like being to yourself. You really do. Or this person really does. Maybe this is backwards for some of you, but someone just can't help the way they, that you make them feel. You know, I feel like if this is backwards for some of you, where I kind of feel like it's not, I almost feel like you both feel the same, but for some of you... Maybe some of you are like, yeah, I feel like this person feels this way. 
this person may have got out of a very bad commitment and they were like, all right, it's time for me to heal. It's time for me to go hermit. It's time for me to be single for a long time. And then boom, Gemini shows up and they're like, damn, I got to turn around and stop focusing on my bad breakup with this other person because look at this Gemini. They look good and they're my wish fulfillment. So you, this is interesting. So some of you are connecting with somebody who is recently single or still going through a healing process that just did not expect to fall for someone or to feel any sort of something to someone. Some of you, Geminis, this is you. You may have gone through a very bad breakup and you are you were stuck. You were like, all right, that's it. I'm single. I'm saying to myself, I'm disappointed with love. And this person comes in and turns that all upside down. Wow. Some of you, this could be a past person. Y'all had a very bad breakup, divorce, whatever the case may be. You may be very unexpected that there is a new available energy to this connection. I mean, with the Ace of Cups to the Fool, I feel like it's a totally newer energy. You could have already met them. You may be on the process, on the path of meeting them in the next 30 days. But it's almost like surprising and it's like you were this person was just looking at like just all the disappointments y'all have been through in life and love whatever and it's kind of like it's like I wrote off love I'm gonna be single that's it that's it and then y'all meet each other and it's like actually never mind so some of you, you're coming during this person's healing process or they're coming during a healing process for you. Interesting. Clarify this bottom row here for Gemini. Can you please clarify this bottom row for Gemini in terms of romantic love, not taking a flyer for the next 30 days. Still not taking flyers. That's like seven cards. For the next 30 days, clarify this for Gemini. On the Fool, you have the Page of Pentacles. Woof. Four of Pentacles, the Tower. Yeah, you shocked. Six of Wands. Wow. Wow, this feels so good for you. Like, you're surprised. You're going to be super surprised that you're able to... If this is somebody that you've already dated, then you're really surprised over the way this whole new beginning is. It's totally different than how you two were before. Because it feels super new to me. So if this is somebody that you've already experienced in a much larger aspect of a relationship, then y'all are getting like miraculously blessed with a new cycle. Some of you were separated from this person for a very long time. Others of you, this is a totally new person. You've been healing. They've been healing. You both went through bad situations. You both may have wrote off love. Nope, not happening here. It looks too good to not take a risk on. It feels too good to them. It feels too good to you to not want to start this in the physical. Page of Pentacles could be apologies if you're aware of this person. It could be offers, dates, plans. Let's see each other. Let's get together. Let's build on this connection. We both feel some type of way. Let's see what happens. And I feel like this person for some of my single, single Geminis is challenging that independent, I want to be single like nature, or you're challenging this person's, I want to be single like nature, because they're kind of like, ooh, Gemini looks too good to pass on. It's like an opportunity that neither of you want to miss out on. So it looks like a pretty blessed and pretty surprising opportunity with love. Six of wands, it's going to feel very victorious. You and this person are going to start giving each other a lot of attention, recognition, compliments, admiration, adoration. You both feel really good. And some of you, this is a really strong past energy that you two just were away from for a very long time, maybe even dated other people. And that's why it's so surprising how well you two are navigating this new cycle or this is just a totally new energy and y'all both are surprising each other to a pretty large extent. Wow. 
I see a lot of plans for the future. See a lot of plans for the future, for the future. This person just sees you in their future. They've always seen you in their future. Or this person just feels like this is an, a person, Gemini is this person that I do not want to pass up on. Like the Hermit, King of Swords. Like I'm going to come out of Hermit mode for Gemini. Or Gemini, you're coming out of Hermit mode for this person's energy. I have the Hermit here twice, so I kind of feel like you both have been it to yourselves. Or dealing with other things. And both deciding to take that risk and to take that opportunity on seeing where this connection goes after you two have either wrote off this connection or wrote off love. We have Taurus, strong Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Aries coming in here. Doesn't have to be their placement. Could be, but that's just the way the energies are coming in. I'm going to clarify this bottom row for you one more time, Gemini, because I want to see what comes on the tower. But single no more for a lot of you. For this person too, they should know. Clarify this for Gemini. We have the nine of wands. So for a lot of you, you're putting down a lot of walls. A lot of you had strong walls up. Another nine, 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 nine. I'm telling you, single days is over here. On the tower, you have temperance. So for a lot of you, you have been single, protecting your peace. You've been... In solitude, healing, you're going to meet some, a lot of you are meeting this person through a healing process or just as there's been a lot of time out and six of wands, 10 of cups. Wow. Yeah. This is definitely a love opportunity of a lifetime. You both feel it and you both are willing to put down the walls. I feel like the wall is, this is what I feel though. Gemini, you or them, whomever, I don't feel like the wall is going to be completely down right away. You know, I feel like each and every week or so that you two see each other or talk, each of these wands is going to start coming down. I don't feel like it's extremely quick. I feel like it takes time, especially with temperance here, but it's worth it. For a lot of you, this connection has been worth waiting for, for sure. And you're going to feel that. Others of you, this reconnection, this beautiful new beginning for you and this person was definitely worth waiting for in whatever sort of aspect you went through waiting. So let's see what the Oracle is here for the relationship Oracle deck for my Geminis. Oh my gosh. Do money. All right. We have two that flew out. We'll take them. I thought it was a lot, but it was only two. It seemed like a lot. All right, so your first card is duality, card 18. The frequency of duality supports our ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites. So you may feel like you're very different from this person, but opposites absolutely attract. And you have card 13, commitment. Like I said, some of you definitely um, were with this person or definitely going to be with this person. Like I said, they see you in their future. The frequency of commitment supports our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of our being with unwavering belief. I told you, triple nines, single life. Oh, hello. You have quadruple nines. One, two, three. I'm sorry. One, two, three, and four. So I told you single days are over. Commitment is right there. You have 18, 13. Some of you could have been born on the 18th to 13th. Maybe they were. But, wow. You also have card number 13 here with the tower. Like, And that's beautifully connected because I'm telling you, some of you are shocked at the fact that you even want to commit to this person. They're even shocked about it. Damn, Gemini. All right, so that's what we have here for you for the next 30 days. If you resonated to this reading, please do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you are alerted when a new reading is released. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Happy birthday once again to my Gemini sons. Bye now.